He says they've tried to stay safe from the bird flu. We always take the pre uh, preventive me uh, measures, such as disinfecting our uh, boots and shoes before going into the barns, cleaning them out regularly, and uh, always making sure that the chickens have the best quality feed and clean water available to them. It makes the overall healthier bird. Lopez says local raised chicken eggs should be just as safe, if not safer, than commercial raised chickens. When, when you buy from, from local farmers, you're getting the guarantee that it's going to be a fresh product because you don't know how, exactly how long, uh, you know, the eggs or beef or whatever kind of product has been sitting in the shelves for. Uh, you know, eggs, you know, they're usually stored for about a month or two before they're actually able to go to the supermarket floors. And the Texas Animal Health Commission advises area residents who raise poultry to report any signs of sick birds. In your community news this morning, if you're a fan of the great outdoors, Danielle's got the perfect event for you to check out this weekend. All right, I gotta know. What I is it? Know. What is it? <laughs> I know, and Brianna's actually a great fan, the greatest of all of, of outdoor activities. So I think she should go with us to this one, Jeremy. Yeah, I think, she, I think she should. Maybe she should <laughs> drive us there. <laughs> Maybe so. I'm really pumped about it. It's the World Birding Center Tour, and it's a family friendly, educational, and fun event for all in the Rio Grande Valley. Okay, we're talking about a really awesome outdoor adventure where we're going to be able to check out over 350 species of birds while on a beautiful nature hike trail within the Estero Llano State Birding Park. Okay, it's going to be a guided tour too, so we're going to have the experts with us to explain what we're seeing and why, to outline the migration paths of certain birds and explain their colors, their habits, their character, and how they live or pass through our 956 region. So yes, if you've got an outdoor obsession, again, like Brianna, <laughs> then this is very much so the event that you're going to want to experience, especially now because apparently their famous birding deck has a record of 115 bird species uh, viewed per day day and that's just one in particular spot uh, you know the site where you can look at the wetland area and explore it all of it I mean visitors can see green jays and great kiskadees and clay colored thrusses and, and just so many types of birds and the uh, best part about it all it is free of charge so really exciting stuff go ahead and check out this two hour nature park tour uh, Brianna wishes it would be five but you know <laughs> two is okay uh, it's going to be unfolding again at the Estero Llano State Park from 8 30 to 10 30 in the morning this Sunday. What better way to spend your Sunday morning? It's going to be an eye opening experience for all birders and nature lovers. Again, Brianna. <laughs> and you can visit tpwd.texas.gov for more information. Guys, what I really love about this is that, you know, I, I, some of us who are not birders, mm -hmm. we don't really take the time to look up. And, and this is a, a chance to, to, to really appreciate our birds in flight here in yeah. the 956 region. Bring the kids out, you yeah. know, learn about the different species mm -hmm. and get to know your area. That's a lot. And I that's know. very cool. I know. And it's really cool. You get to go outside and, mm -hmm. you know, sweat it out and just like enjoy the outdoors for a little while, you know? Wow. What is it about the great outdoors that you <laughs> love so much? I'm so sorry. What happened? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the... <laughs> I, I know the, the answer. The, the she views. likes taking photos outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, See, the she's views. Like, yes, yes. Views. She, what she about loves the views? Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, I love to post outside <laughs> a little um, outfit inspo oh. for like a hike. What do you be wearing? <laughs> you know, some hiking shoes. Oh, hiking shoes. Some biker oh, yeah. shorts. Had, like, biker shorts and mm -hmm. hiking shoes. Mm -hmm. And take pictures out there for the views. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow, this gets you out giggly. Wow. <laughs> Jeremiah. That's great. I just yeah. love the outdoors. She does. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure a lot of people would enjoy this just I as know. much as we yes. Yeah, and again, it's free of charge, and it's a great educational opportunity. So I'm really excited about it, guys. Cool. This should be cool. Absolutely. You well, know. I hope you have fun, Brianna. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Next time I should invite you guys. <laughs> I'll let the fun. I'm mad that you, you have it yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yippee me. Mm. <laughs> and if you are planning to go outside today, conditions are going to be pretty great, but a little bit on the breezy side. We could have wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So again, very strong winds are expected for today, but with cooler temperatures starting today and technically